ho, what's up everybody? Today we have a brand new video. This game is going to be Graves. And now I have something to show you guys. This is going to be a very subtle brag, but it's something that means actually a lot to me. So for those of you guys that know, Doublelift is by far my favorite player. And back in season seven, I was actually pretty well known for Graves. And someone actually linked me this clip and I saved it as a video. So if you guys want to listen to this. You ever play against Charismized Graves? I think that guy's probably the best Graves. Oh yeah, I'm friends with him. He's a good Graves. Yeah, I, oh, I think he's the best Graves in NA at least. See, so, I mean, that's pretty much just to, to give you an introduction to my Graves. Now, given it's been a year since I've played Graves consistently, so I'm not as good as I used to be, but I still, I still play them every now and then. But definitely, that's by far probably my biggest accomplishment for League to hear the guy that I looked up to the most in solo queue and like when I first joined saying I was the best at a champion just felt great so I've kept that clip for quite some time and it just feels amazing to have so we're gonna come back to this graves I'll show you guys my runes it's a lot different from what a lot of you probably would be accustomed to and I'll show you exactly how to utilize them and whatnot but um we're, we're against the pantheon jung which I'll probably do a game of pantheon jung as well eventually I'm gonna do a bunch of junglers guys because I can play pretty much every jung in the game and I'm finally gonna show you guys that because everyone seems to think I'm a cane one trick but I just like Kane a lot. He's just my favorite champion. It's not a one. Tr I'm not a one trick. So we're gonna have fun this game. We're gonna try our hardest to win and hopefully get a good video out of it. So obviously you want to start Shetty. Usually you want to start E, but you know just in case there's an invade, I don't level up anything. Wait, I gotta sneeze. I'm gonna mute my mic for a second. Yeah, that would have been really fucking loud if I sneezed in the mic. <laughs> okay, so, um, this is the ideal place you want to start. If you're going to start red, you just want to sit here. Make sure you don't get invaded. Make sure that he sits there, he sits there. So, I'm going to need a bot pixel ward at, like, 20 seconds still. Spawn. You know, the, I, I pretty much ask for this every game, guys. You guys should be asking for it, too. If your team wants to do it for you, it would definitely help you out. Just make sure no one dies level 1, so. Uh... I mean, Pantheon's gonna be looking to gank probably early on. This uh, this top laner actually gave me Jung, so he's gonna be autofill. But I think uh, I think he's playing Talon, so that's pretty good. A lot of what I've watched, a lot of you guys obviously are gonna mention Tarzan this, Tarzan that. I think Tarzan is probably the best Graves in NA as of right now. You know, of course. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, there's a lot you can learn from him, but I feel like I have a bit of a unique style when it comes to Graves as well. There's probably a bit more easily playable around because Tarzan does a lot of things that are very hard to adapt to like it works so well for him because he's very smart and mechanically gift on the champion so I think you could probably learn a thing or two from this game yeah this guy's tanking a little too much so as you guys can see my range to the bottom left I got the early poro down we're gonna be doing red into crux and try and look for like an early gank it's mostly what you want to do when you do this pathing with champs like this Early ganks can really, really snowball the game. Then just make sure you don't get cheese or anything. Okay, so there's Pantheon. I'm gonna just go top right now. She's gonna be level two, but I think if he baits it out. I see. I'm just gonna stand over the wall here just to make sure that he dies. 80%. Jesus, what a fucking fiesta of a game to start, like. <laughs> I bet this guy is very happy that he gave me Jung now. So, so he only has 4 CS, so this means he just took his red and he dipped. Um, as you guys can see, Dark Harvest did a fuck ton that fight. And, you know, just my runes overall. This is a really good start, guys. This is amazing. I really, really am enjoying this game so far. Alrighty. So let's just try and make sure that, uh, we go get our blue now. This is a very, very good start. Alright, so we're going to be going a lot of damage this build. Because, you know, obviously Dark Harvest and whatnot. So, I'm going to try and, uh... Honestly, we're going to see what we're going to want to go. I might want to get Storm Razor and then, like, see where we go from there. There's a lot of builds you can go, but anything is... 
I mean, I have a 2 0 start, so. Against a pretty weak jungle, jungle matchup, so. I'm pretty satisfied with how things are going so far. I think I can get a gank off here, too. Let's see, just ward it. I definitely get the scuttle, so I'll look for that. Alrighty. Let's maybe we could do a ring around. Means I'm gonna go from uh, the bush. Don't know if they have vision of me or anything, but we'll see. See you real soon. Oh, the minions blocked me so hard and didn't heal me. Yeah, that sucks. If he healed me, I would have lived. Dang, that would have been worth too, because we would have traded their flashes for my heal. Or for his heal. That's pretty unfortunate. I don't think we were going to lose too much off that, but that does kind of suck. I'm still way ahead of this uh, Pantheon, so I'm, I'm fine with that. They got a kill right there. That's actually really good. Yeah, I just showed you guys one of the worst things about Graves, the fucking minion block. It's so fucking hard to gank sometimes. You in like a wave like that. And we got a lot more than they got from that, so I'm not even upset. Obviously I would have lived if I got the heal, but that's eh, whatever. Sometimes people just make mistakes, it's nothing too big. Oh, I was too busy typing no problem, I almost reset my Gromp. That would have been super depressing. Might be able to gank right here. I don't know. I think he's gonna just base though. Yeah, I thought he was gonna base. Yeah, Pantheon keeps trying to gank early, but he can't. So he's actually losing out on so much because I'm farming camps and then looking for something. He's just looking for something. And I don't know if you guys know this, but Graves is obviously going to hard outscale Pantheon. So, I mean, I don't know. This is this is just going to be free for the looks of it. Alrighty, let's just... Okay, there's Pantheon. Trying to look for something again. They should try and get the scuttle. If I get assistance, it'd be really free. Not as ahead in XP as I am on other junglers, but I'm just ha I just have a lot of map pressure. This is really good, I think, the way that I'm jungling. And then you know, obviously, if you guys don't know, Graves, Graves, Graves is a very fucking strong champion, guys. If you are a jungle main right now, you need to have Graves in your champ pool. He is just he's been consistently one of the best junglers in the game. He still is the best jung in the game, and he's. He's a little hard to f when you first learn him, but once you get comfortable with him, he's very fucking abusable. I think Evelyn's a good pick too. The, two, the three junglers I'd recommend every jungler to know is uh, Evelyn, Graves, and Kha'Zix. Both will stay strong for a, a long time. They're all good to have in your champ pool. But um, yeah, Graves, they, they all take a little bit of time to learn if good enough with. and But once you do, they're very, very free picks. I think they're pretty fun too, honestly. And get a gank off top right now, so let's focus on that. Yeah, I just keep pathing. Wherever I path, I'm like, alright, let's try and see if I can gank around there. A lot of what a jungler does. Make sure I don't eat that. Sweet. Wow, she was fucking tanky, dude. I hit everything on her though, so she had no chance of surviving. Imagine if she did though, that would have been insane. Oh wow, that was a nice one for one trade on a gank. I'll be honest, Pantheon doesn't really do much though. But it is a Zaya and Rakan. Zaya Rakan's insane. Bot lane matchup. They were really insane. These guys are pretty good too. I'm I'm pretty chill with the Zaya. Pretty cool guy. I don't think there's anyone too well known in this game. There's Shady, who's like a, he's like an academy slash LCS player, and then uh, 
Yeah, all the other people are just like solo queue players. Usually I try and get games where a lot of people are well known. The clickbait homie. No, but I mean, <laughs> just kidding. But um, usually I like to upload games with a lot of people that are well known just because it's more fun to watch, just more entertaining. People love to see their favorite players up against people that, you know, that they, they're like trying to figure out. I feel like it shows a lot more how good someone is by shitting on people that are pretty well known for being good. Like videos I have with or against TF Blade are very good to have, I think. I respect TF Blade to the maximum though, he's an insane player. So I'm not like trying to start anything. My ghost pro down. Alright, now we're gonna get Scuttle and try and make a play bot. Looks like that's what just Pantheon's doing. Pretty sure I helped top out a lot. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure he's autofill, so I'm not sure how much it's gonna help. Yet I haven't been ganking, I've just been leaving in a one for one or one v one. But um I'm kind of scared if I do go bot that uh, TF might try. That's a good word. That TF tr might try and ult down to get a 4, 3, 4, whatever. Now, I'm not saying we can't win a 3v4. I'm just saying that it's pretty unnecessary risk to take. But then we can kill Pantheon when he comes if this guy wanted to. Uh, watch out for TF because I don't want to get ulted on in the jungle. That'd be super, da super dangerous. From my top there. So, I think we're just gonna try a brute force bot lane. I don't know. I just try and engage on me there, too. I don't know. Darn. I should have held on to my R. Pantheon has his R as well. That's pretty unfortunate. Wait, this guy's inting. Wait, this guy's turbo inting. Oh my goodness. Wait, that was actually good for us then. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's cool. We had Ninja Tabby. Just because they have a lot of. Pantheon, I really is Aya. They just have a lot of. Uh, what's it called? Auto attackers and AD. Like TF's auto attacks as well, because you guys know Ninja Tabby blocks 12% of basic attacks, so. Yeah, it's, it's good overall for their team, and then if I need it, I could probably get like a QSS or something, but I doubt I'm gonna need it, because we have so much damage on our team that if they're all focusing me and like perma seeing me, then Talon or Jin or LeBlanc is just gonna kill them. Plus, we have Zillion R as well, so that's why I don't. Like, some people would be like, dude, they have so much CC, why don't you get Merc Well, this is why. I'm just gonna help out in so, much, in so many other ways. So no issue, no issue. I think honestly my best bet is just to keep going top. That's the most success I've had going. But I really haven't had too much success. Like things haven't gone bad, but they haven't really gone great either. I think I just have poor synergy with my bot lane. Not saying either side is bad or playing it bad. Uh, it's just like poor synergy. So I think I'll just go to the top. Even though I normally like to not play off top, but I mean he's playing Talon, so. Talon's a pretty good snowball champ. Uh, don't have mid cryo there. Alrighty. Maybe we could try something here. You kidding me? The champion's fucking insane. Okay, I, I don't think that's worth it all. I don't think that's worth for them at all. See, that's that's what I'm saying. If they if they focus me and they do all this for me, it's like, you, I mean, well, LeBlanc should have been free farming and pushing mid. She either free farms or put hard roams. She didn't roam, so she had to push mid there. But I mean, I'm not really upset with her. But um, yeah, like like I was saying, I mean, Talon getting two free kills there. Like I said, this guy's not a Talon main, but I mean, I have a two level lead on their junk. By the way, I'm saving a. Or BF sword. I would, I'm gonna get Storm Razor. I think Storm Razor into like a Black Flavor. I guess no, not into Black Flavor. It's like a Phantom Dancer. I don't really know if I want to get Lethality because I feel like I can't fully really burst them. Because I don't know. Maybe I will get Lethality. I don't know. I guess I could have got a Dirk right there. Oh uh, wait, wait. Talon's just gonna clean their fucking assholes. 
Alright, well, let's use this time productively. Objective control wins games, lads. Objective control wins games. Just remember that. Or at least mine did. Doesn't matter. Alright, so we have Rift, which is pretty much guaranteed free first and second tower. Properly. I do really want to try and gank somewhere over here. I'm contemplating it. Do I want to try and dive Irelia? Do I just want to take these camps and get out? I think I'll just take the camps and get out. Way too fucking hard to dive. We could maybe take blue though. Alright, let's take Scuttle and then Blue, because I'm pretty sure Scuttle is going to spawn first, if I'm right. Okay, sweet. Dude, team's re doing really well as well, honestly. This is a pretty good game. I was expecting to pop off since I started 2-0, but honestly, I gave up a lot of my lead to get my team ahead, which you guys can see, but I'm still very much ahead myself. So... Obviously, if somebody from like bronze were to look at this game at this point, they'd be like, oh, he's 2, 3, and 4, he's getting carried, lol, noob, bad player. People watch him, they should watch me instead. Or Night Blue. But, um, yeah, I mean. Honestly, it's all about like the pressure on the map you have and itemization i don't have a buy yet but once i do i'll be huge i mean even without the buy i do a lot of fucking damage dude i was gonna say if i didn't kill her i would have went bonkers let's just take tower i think i don't want to use rift i want to save rift for mid or top oh there they are there they are, there they are, there they are. Wait, what the hell did I just do? I fucking auto the tower. <laughs> Wait, do you guys see that? I accidentally auto the tower because I forgot to fucking space click. Oh, I'm griefing. Yeah, see, I still don't need a rift. I'll save rift for mid. I'll say both want a base here, I don't know. I don't think they should, because it's just going to be Irelia. We can fucking 1v3 her. She's pretty behind. So yeah, I'm just going to take this tower. Up mid. Spot. A lot of people would have just wasted their rift there, but it's really not worth it. You should save it for an actual uh, time where you need it. Right, let's see where the fucking storm is there. I can't find it for the life of me. There you go. Uh, we got this. Sorry about that. My fucking eyes. I find it so troll. Alrighty, well, let's see. They're pretty low bot. Uh, my rift has about quarter time left, so that's like what, 60 seconds. So a minute. I think I can get mid. I can get bot tower and then mid tower in the 60 seconds. What do you guys think? Well, I mean, you can't reply to me instantly, and if you do, comment comment down below. What do you think? Can I get bot tower and mid tower in the 60 seconds? Find out right now. Oh, we can actually, yeah. <laughs> I don't even need to do anything though, I just farmed. I farmed, and got two towers. That's sweet. <laughs> Time solo queue is just that easy, boys. Alrighty. Oh man, they were all so low. I should have went with Adley. Oh, he didn't get mid tower. No! He died? Oh, Zillian had his R. Oh, that sucks. He got his R off. Fuck, bro. Holy shit. That guy's a mad dog. Yeah, with TF flash. It's pretty good. Knowing that he has the same flash time as me, so. I can play around that. Yeah, see, I'm starting to think maybe I should have went with Ali, because I would have killed, like, one or two there. 
It's kind of a tough call. Like, you know, obviously I'd get like Yumu's, Storm Razor, shit like that. I don't know. Dust Blade. I'll be playing more Graves, so there'll probably be another video where I go full lethality. Full lethality, one shot build, insane. 1000 damage, my mom threw me out of the house for this one. Nah, I know how to do it boys, I'm a YouTube professional. Honestly, if my titles are cringe, just remember, actually I like all my titles, they're kind of funny. But, if you guys think they're cringe or whatever, just remember one thing, at least I'm playing fucking Challenger. Get the fuck out of here, boys. Ow! You use so fucking much on me, man. We have no damage besides me, though. It's so weird. Oh, lord. This was a bit of a throw. Alright. Let's just not throw like that again. It's fine. I believe this is a free kill here. Dude, what is this for con? So thank you for Oh, lord. Oh, he ignited the wrong one. <gasps> Oh, that's so sad. Let's try the. Did you get that cloud drag? Oh wow, look at that Zaya. She's so fed. All right, we gotta put on the carry pants, lads. Ninja Tabby Zaya. Yeah, we need our AP damage to be doing more damage here, definitely. Just keep taking objectives and being smart. I think I play that not too bad, but I needed my team there. I'm playing too Rambo mode. It's not a bad thing, because once I get enough items, I can actually 1v5, but just still wait for my team, I think. Just being too much of a cocky cock. Come on, let me put down my Poro. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try and fucking auto this on. For some reason, he's just tanky as can be. Maybe try and kill this guy. I don't know. Ah, I got my uh, Dillar pop. Amazing job, boys. There we go. See, that's how we need to fight. As long as we have some damage with us, like Talon. If I if I get focus, I just get Zillion Ard. Don't really do much. Zai is insanely fed, but AD carries are not strong enough to 1v9 until they get like three items. He's almost at that third item power spike though, but luckily for me, I got a good team behind me, so I could just do a lot. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Space, get Phantom Dancer. Let's see what else could I use here. Uh, I don't know. I guess I kind of want to do get Black Cleaver just for the HP. I really just want like an HP item. I got Steric Gauge. They even work on range. Challenger player is asking you guys that. No, <laughs> it's melee champs only. You guys remember there's a time where you can go Steric Gauge and Maw on Graves? Most broken thing ever. <laughs> It's kind of funny. But yeah, I'll just get Black Cleaver. One of my favorite builds I actually used to always go was going fucking Frozen Mallet. I don't know if you guys remember that meta either, where you go Frozen Mallet on Graves. It's actually pretty legit. I can lie to you. Yeah. Asha's here. Okay, so they're trying to 2v2. I think we win this though, 100%. An enemy has been slain. Yeah. Alrighty, boys. Let's clean her up. Cut. Sweet. Don't even have my Dark Harvest fully procced yet. They're fuming. Alright, let me make sure I don't fucking face check. I should die. The 
If they just did Baron right now, it'd be so fucking funny. Go to Baron! They're on it! I would have respected them a lot if they actually got that Baron, that would have been so funny. Alright, let's get this fucking tower. Fine. One die auto did like 90% of my HP. Kidding, it did like 10. So a lot though. Hell fucking yeah, boys. Got us another free pick. I'll need to reset eventually. I think take this tower and then reset. Notice how I keep taking these pants camps as well. This is why I'm so fucking ahead of him if you're curious. I have almost 100 CS over him. But wait, I actually have almost more CS than anyone else on my team. That's pretty crazy, man. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, dude. I don't know. Alright, so once I get HP, I mean, I'm pretty much unkillable. Yeah, alright, so. I think this game's just about gonna be done, guys. I'm gonna show you how to close it out. So we're gonna need to probably bait this Baron. We don't have a mountain, so we don't do it too quick. Like, we have a Jin, LeBlanc. Like, we don't do this shit too crazy quick. We still do it good, but... Main thing they want to do here is wait for a bot to be pushing, and then if they try and fight us, we just turn off the Baron and go... Um, Sweet. Waste my red smite there though, that's kinda stupid. Yeah, I'm sure dude. Honestly, I feel bad for ADCs now. There's just nothing this guy could have done to win this game, I'll be real honest with you. I kinda feel bad for him, but either way, that was really good. We got a pick with Talon, and now we can just start this. And if they try and fight us, we just turn on them. Bots pushing, so they'll lose their base. The main thing that you want to do on objectives with graves is stack your E, so make sure your E is getting stacked. sure you don't miss the smite on Baron. Damn, I play that pretty good too. I'm coming for you, buddy. Oh! Ha! I got him with my W. That's so troll. Oh! Oh, baby. Look at that damage. Yeah, th dude. You guys gotta try this shit out. I know I'm gonna say this about a lot of these videos, but I 100% recommend every single one of you, the man's jungle wants to gain elo, to start playing graves. Not only that, but try out these runes. They are so fun. They are so fun. You will have a lot of fun, and you, I will guarantee you find me elo. But obviously, he's a hard champ to learn, so give it like 50 games, learning curve, and then after those 50 games, you'll be climbing like no time. Ow. Look at this! Oh! Oh! I fucking auto the towers too! Kill them all! Wait, this is actually insane. <gasps> my kill, my kill, my kill! Oh. This is a fucking great game. God damn. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Be sure to hit that sub button. Be sure to hit that like. I love and appreciate all of you. G motherfucking G, boys.